Third year class this year, myself with the other studio masters, Dr. Mrs. Bafuishen, Dr. Victor Kutinsang, and Professor Rexford Asasiopon, and architect Kobna. We came together and decided that having started an initial research into bamboo, how to use bamboo for various structures and other things last year, and as well as Edinkra, the results that we got, we realized that we can take it further. And we've been seeing um, people use Edinkra. They normally use it for handrails, tattoo the buildings with um, Edinkra. And we as a class decided that we don't want the students to continue doing building tattoos but should actually use the Edinkra, the meaning of Edinkra, with the symbol itself to come up with um, structures and come up with um, designs which are very authentic and also very uh, traditional and with a sustainable material like bamboo. Coming in here today, I think we all witnessed. It's a very interesting scheme they did and they responded so well. And it's actually in line with uh, the department ethos and other related aspects. If you notice, they, they mentioned uh, Edinkra Techcha in Bambi Techcha, that spells the tone. The Edinkra symbols expressing them in design, then the Bambi Techcha basically coming from bamboo architecture and all this reflecting there. And it's interesting we saw one of them, Sankofa. The bamboo is something that traditionally it was used so much. Uh, some way, somehow, with time, the imported materials have come in, yes, and which is not helping with the environment. There are so many reasons to that. So Sankofa, going back to the traditional approaches, where buildings were designed to be responsive to the environment, materials with low embodied energy, and all related concepts. Yes, so uh, uh, I think this scheme really reflects this, and, and that has been the spirit that informed or the selection of the program. And I must say the students have responded so well. I have also been very, very impressed with uh, what I have seen. Um, part of the things that I teach relates to sustainability and that basically is trying to make sure that we are not depleting our environment. And so it's very important that for the up and coming generation, for them not to think only uh, brick and mortar, but to think other sustainable materials as they have demonstrated. And so it's really super exciting. And that's what the School of Architecture does. It does not uh, limit them. And we have been amazed by some of the fantastic forms that they have chosen. Uh, they have not shown that they are afraid. They have been willing to explore. And that is very interesting. And also the different kinds of materials uh, that they have tried to explore. Absolutely, it's been a top-notch uh, uh, output from the students and we are super excited. That, that means that the industry should be excited about having these guys come out there in three or four years. We chose 12 um, faculties in the university and then grouped the entire class into 12 and asked them that they should go talk to the faculties and select one of the many editing classes that we have that actually symbolizes the faculty and then they, as a group they should use that editing class symbol to come up with a learning port and the learning pod as we went around, these are the options that came up and we selected the best four of each of the four groups. And we have received response from people who have come around saying that it looks um, interesting and some people want to take it as a, um, a chalet for hotels, restaurants and all, all those stuff. But for us, as a research institution, we are open and any ideas that will come this um, as a trigger for how we can actually use Edinkra symbols is welcome and we are open also for further collaborations from the civil society and private enterprises and other institutions how we can use bamboo and also the Indian class symbols and we are this is not the end but this is just the beginning we were tasked to design for the department of agriculture and then we decided to use the symbol bisisaka for the bisisaka it's from kola nuts and then it has a lot of relations with the Department of Agriculture. So the, the use of Edinkra symbols are very unique to Ghana. They are symbols which are mainly used in Ghana and they all have their different meanings. Yeah, so for my group, we chose the Bisisaka. 
which symbolizes um, strength, unity, and togetherness. We have a lot of natural resources. We have bamboo, we have other ones, okay. And then trying to use bamboo, it's very eco-friendly, and then it doesn't deplete the nature, and then it can be renewed over and over and over again. So I would encourage that we use those type of materials, whereby instead of using mortar and concrete and all those things, we're using the bamboo and the rattan, as we can see here, with the models displayed. As individuals, departments and groups, with what we've been taxed to do, it has made it very easy for us. And I think we can do it to suit any design recommendation. Uh, so I'm very happy with architecture. I'm very happy with expressing it in architecture in architecture. You see, in Ghana, what we see is concrete, eh? concrete, concrete, concrete. So it's how can we use our own local materials? The bamboo is one of them. You see, the bamboo is sustainable. The marble is very feasible for construction purposes. You can renew it when, it's, when it gets deteriorated. With the research coming from Professor Rexford Asasi Opon, who also uh, has done something in architecture, we decided to dock on that and then as a class, let the students innovate. We decided to choose bamboo because of um, climate change and um, deforestation that is coming in Ghana. There are a lot of times people want to use sustainable materials and bamboo is one of the most sustainable materials which is very strong and also very durable. And we also realize that a lot of architects have not done enough studies in the application of bamboo. Hence, we are using bamboo only as supporting um, structures for um, buildings but not as the building material itself. So as a research institution, we have made up our mind that we would rather encourage architects and the young ones who are coming up to use bamboo as a building material and hence it will also then trigger the government to set up processing factories and plants for the bamboo itself. Whilst we can save the odun and we can save the mahogany, and bamboo can still be used um, for because bamboo can grow anywhere um, and if you cut it, it grows very fast. Whilst mahogany and odun and the rest takes years before you can get them to actually be used.